Hey there folks, it's uh, Crystal the Reluctant Blogger, back again. Uh, so I, uh, I guess I'm gonna maybe try to fit in two pieces of subject matter today. One being eh, kind of positive, I guess, and the other one being a little negative, I guess. But, uh, you know, I don't know, might as well. Got nothing better to do but talk to you guys through my my camera. So a little bit about me. One thing about me is that I, I'm an artist. I say that because I am actually one. <laughs> Just that I haven't produced anything in a while. Um, I definitely can, I mean, I, defi I have an artistic mind, but I don't do a whole lot with it. <laughs> so, um, the, I just wanted to show you the last thing that I produced, which was actually I was probably about eight months um, months pregnant when I did it, so it's been a while. But um, it's uh, something a little bit more simple, not as quite as personal. And I think in the upcoming vlogs that I do, I'm going to get a little bit more personal with the things that I did. And uh, some of you are probably not going to like it very much. Um, it definitely doesn't always get the most positive, um, you know, compliments or whatever, but who cares? <laughs> it is what it is. Beauty in the eye of the beholder and all that jazz. All right, so here it is. This mirror, I think we found it on the side of the road, actually. But originally it was just black. All of this was just black. Everything that's on it, I put on it. Oh lord, here comes my grandparents back from Harris. Hi! Hi! Bye! <laughs> okay, I came and went to Harris Cherokee Casino for my grandmother's 76th birthday, which is today. Happy birthday, Grandma. But anyway, yeah, so I adorned this mirror and it was very, very fun. This is actually probably my favorite thing to do because it's virtually impossible to mess it up. And I am a little bit of a pack rat when it comes to stuff like this. Buttons and random pieces of paper and, you know, yada yada. Here's a bottle cap. Um, and this right here is actually dried oil paint or acrylic paint. I can't remember. Probably acrylic. Um, from when I was painting years ago. And I kept, I mean, years ago, <laughs> I kept a bag of old dried up paint off of the, off of the palette from like my senior year of high school. Yeah, that was eight years ago. <laughs> and I kept it in a bag and just got thrown in some drawer in a closet or whatever and it moved around with me somehow or another and ended up putting it on this mirror. But um, yeah, so I was really happy with this. Um, all this up here is not one piece of paper or anything, but all of these strips, I cut them all individually. So, yeah, I mean, it was relatively, it was relatively time consuming, I guess, but um, see all the little dots there? I did that with paint pen. But yeah, it's probably my, this is probably my favorite thing. Cut and paste, um, whatever, no pressure, you know? Whenever I try to do anything that's like realism, or draw or paint something out of my mind, you know, it's like you have this very specific idea for what you want it to look like. And uh, when it doesn't look like that, you're really disappointed. It's kind of hard to be disappointed with that because, you know, it's hard to mess up. Oh, let's see if I'm... Oh, I am running out of time. I can't believe my... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. My camera does not hold a whole lot of, of video information at one time, so I have to kind of keep it short. Anyway, my second, my second thing I wanted to go on was that, uh, you know, I don't watch the news because I can't take it. It's just too much for me. And uh, I get, I get really emotionally involved with certain stories that I hear. I wouldn't say emotionally involved, I'm not getting involved with the individuals that happen to, but it just uh, consumes a lot of my uh, emotional and mental thought for several days after I hear a story that is particularly unsettling. Um, I don't, I'm not really going to go into the, the one story. I heard two today. One is mild compared to the other, but um, there was a, a woman in Florida that uh, she had, I think, two, two or three children, and her husband had just finished um, physically assaulting her, 
he and she, I guess he ran out into the yard, or she had ran him out into the yard with a gun, that she did not fire at him or anyone else, but she ran into the yard and she shot it up in the air one time as a warning sign to get him to leave. And uh, she's getting 20 years in prison for that. I know, right? You, you were like, and? Why? What? There's so many questions. I know, I don't understand. I can't, I can't possibly understand why that would happen. And uh, in this case, I mean, I, I mean, a lot of people would say like, you know, okay, well, she's a black woman. So she's black. Well, it probably is something to do with that. There's got to be more to it. 20 years? Like, what judge did she have? I mean, this just, it just, and then here's this George Zimmerman guy who just got off for shooting that poor, that poor boy. He's even had, apparently even had his, his the gun that he shot the kid with returned to him after he was out of his holding. And I'm just like, you know, this, I just lose, I have no faith in the system. I haven't had any faith in the system for a long time, but I really don't have any faith in the system now. And, um, I don't know, I just, I hear these stories about these wretched things, and I have to say, man, in the last several weeks, I have just been overcome with a sense of gratitude. Um, just overwhelming sense of gratitude that my life is just so simple, and it's so easy, and it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not sick. You know, my daughter is healthy and happy, and I'm, you know, employed, and I make good money, and I have a safe place to live, and I have a cool car to drive, and, and I got, I mean, man, I got a belly full of food every day. I mean, I just, man, you know, like, why, why does, well, I didn't do anything to deserve any of that. I didn't do a goddamn thing to deserve any of that. But I just, uh, I don't know, just like talking about gratitude like feeling gratitude I still harbor a whole a lot of I do feel I am can be an angry person I'm not I'm not really angry in here because my life is so beautiful the anger that I feel is for all of these other situations like in my bubble my little bubble it's fantastic and out there is just so wretched sometimes that I just I do find myself childishly wishing I could do something about a wish that would be different because you just feel so powerless to actually do anything about it. So you just sit around and wish and pray and whatever and hope that maybe that does something. Um, but I'm sure that I'm sure that most of you know exactly what I'm talking about and and just that feeling of you know when you hear a story, these stories that there's almost a sense of guilt that you feel. You know, first you feel this sadness. For the situation and then you feel almost guilt <laughs> because you know at least I you know speaking for myself have never experienced anything that horrific that unjust and you know all the problems that I've had in my life I virtually created them myself and I just didn't know it at the time so you know I don't know here's to being grateful cheers I'll cheer you with my cigarette Hopefully you don't have one to cheer me back with because it sucks to smell. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's about it for me today. Um, my last vlogs is when we were in the Smoky Mountain Knife Shop and all the stuff that we did when we were in Tennessee. I didn't show a whole lot of my family because um, my dad hates cameras. <laughs> he doesn't like having his picture taken. He definitely hates the idea of being on YouTube. <laughs> and um, I couldn't find my mom at the time. And then there was Evan. Um, she's a little camera shy too. She, she's, she never acts the same when she's on film, so she was distracted in that one, so it was a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so at some point, you know, probably tomorrow, I'm going to end up vlogging with a friend of mine, so uh, that'll be cool. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. Hope you had guys have a have a great night, and um, uh, the reluctant vlogger. Catch you later.